Hello everyone. Hi there, my name is Crystal. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm here on a Wednesday afternoon. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 2.51pm. It's 2.51pm. So there's a guy from Hyde working next door in the empty flat. He's like a foreign looking guy with black hair and a black beard. He's working next door to my flat. No trouble at all. In fact, he's been never so quiet, so I'm not complaining. Um, so he's keeping himself to himself. I'm keeping myself to myself because I don't really want to talk to strangers. Um, not after what I've been through, I don't. Um, so I've had no messages since this morning. Um, I obviously haven't gone up to my mother's address. I'm still here in Rochester. Um, so you've seen I've eaten. So I cook myself mashed potato with corned beef in, corned beef hash. And I've had cups of coffee. Um, I've had a couple of jelly babies as a treat. And now I've cooked my dessert which is an Aunt Bessie's strawberry pudding with Tesco's custard. So I've had no takeaways. Uh, this is just food that I've got off Tesco. No takeaways. Um, I'm trying to cut down on the intake of bad food because I've been getting really, really horrendous heartburn and it's been really painful. At one point, I thought I was going to have to contact the doctors because the pain was radiating around here and down the side, and it was painful. But I think I may have had it combined with a chest infection because when you get really, really bad acid indigestion, and that's what it is, acid coming up from your stomach into your esophagus, and it can erode your teeth it can go into your ears it can it can cause horrendous problems acid acid indigestion um, it can even lead to cancer in some cases my dad suffered from it he used to just he used to drink half a bottle of gaviscon he did my dad suffered from it he had a full-blown hernia my father you couldn't see his belly button it, his, he had his stomach was like a big round ball and you couldn't see the belly button um, he had a hernia belt my dad had a, a, a hernia belt that he used to put over his tummy to keep the hernia in so people say oh it's heartburn it's heartburn it can lead to complications and be quite harmful so I need to stop eating dodgy food and by that I mean takeaways and I, I, I'm now eating my main meal letting that digest and then I'm now going to have my dessert um, when you get depressed when you get down like myself and especially for a lot of women who've suffered the loss of a partner or they've got divorced or they're on their own, the, the, the easiest thing to do is comfort yourself with food. And that's what I've been doing. Because I'm on my own, especially at night, get the crisps, get the popcorn, get the chocolate, and it just goes down the cake hole. And I, I've got incredibly overweight in certain areas. Now, it is going slightly, but not enough. I'm also going through the menopause, and your digestive system can slow down, which can cause you to put on weight as well. So I exercise. I, I take Max out three times a day, right around that field. So I'm exercising, but this is not coming off. Right, so I, I don't miss the money, I don't miss the takeaways, I want to get back to myself, 
and be like I was before 2008 happened. Now that's nearly 20 years ago. I'm not going to get to the same size, shape, or my, it's, my skin's not going to be the same, my hair's gone grey, right? I'm not going to get back that way, but I, I'm saying everything broke down in 2008, didn't it? it? Everything went to pot. My whole life hit the skids. I went got rock bottom. I had no money. I was homeless. Everything was shit, right? And it shouldn't have happened, it wasn't my fault, and I'm trying to get myself back together. Okay. My mum is a separate person. What's happened to my mum is different to me. She married a man that was violent. She married a man that was terrible he treated her really badly Derek did but then that transferred on to the children he hit me and abused me and you know <laughs> I've suffered from my father's behavior as well but we're two separate people my mum it was Derek's wife I was Derek's daughter. Yes, he hit my mother, but he hit me as well and destroyed my life as, just as much as he destroyed my mum. And in my mum's case, she's a lot older than me. And I, yes, I feel sorry for her. I do feel sorry for, for her. But my life was destroyed as a kid by both of their behaviour. My life was destroyed as a child because of both of their behaviour. Not just but my father's behaviour, my mother's as well. I just want to move on with my life and try and salvage the remaining years I've got left on this planet. And I can't do that with people trying to force me back to my mother. I'm an adult. So now the money's getting cut off. So I'm being punished, you see. The money's been taken away because I'm not doing as I'm told. But I don't mind about not having any money. My father died in 2021. He left money behind, right? He sold the house at Victoria Road. He had money, he must have had money in his bank Right, and, and it's been left to my mother. I've, I, he didn't give me a penny. He didn't apologise for what he did. He didn't give me a penny. Right, so there was no will. There was no solicitor. My mum got everything that my dad left. Right, simple. I'm now on my own. I have benefits. I have a benefit which is supposed to make my life better. I don't get anything else. I haven't got I haven't got property. I've got no property. This this flat is rented. I've got no savings. I just receive benefit. I don't profit from YouTube. It's not monetized channel. I like to help other people going through what I've been through myself and to show people that you can get through horrendous abuse because I'm a prime example of it as there are many other people out there who have been abused and are afraid to come forward because you have to fight. I'm a woman and I have to fight men out of the way. Men. And I'm a woman, right? And I don't mean physically fight, I mean mentally battle. I don't want inappropriate touching. I don't want sexual innuendos. I... I'm, I'm in my 50s, I know what I want and I don't want to be used as a sex toy, right? It's as simple as that. And whatever they do or whatever they say, I don't, I don't listen because I'm going to follow what I believe is right, not what they believe is right. Right. So, I took Max out this afternoon. It was completely empty on the field bar from a young lady with glasses 
who was eating a bag of crisps in front of my face. So she was walking up the path eating. And I've got 36 bags of crisps in this flat. 36 bags of crisps. Cheese and onion walkers. 36 bags of crisps. I've got a pot of cheese and onion Pringles. So why people feel the need to eat in front of me, I haven't got a clue. It, it, it beggars belief. Now I'm going to show you my dessert. Max has been fed as well. He's, he's happy. The cats have been fed. Do you know, when I, when I, went, when I used to go up to see my mum, when I used to go up to see my mum, she used to give me about three or four bags of items that helped me, right? I never asked for it. I was grateful for my mum giving it to me. I didn't go up there and say, give me that. I want that. My mum would say to me, Janestra, is there anything you need? Is there anything you'd like me to get you? And I would say, yes, please, mum. And she would get me hair gel. She would get me, you know, dog and cat food. So this has all stopped coming. It's all come to a halt. But I will show you that I can buy my own hair gel. I can buy my own cat and dog food. It's going to be tight because when someone feeds you and gives you things, and then you cut the ties off. Obviously, I was getting used to having some money. I was getting used to having dog, cat food, hair gel, crisps, biscuits. It's all stopped. And it has, for the past four weeks, I haven't been up to Doral Gardens for four weeks now since my cat, something horrendously awful happened to my cat. And she's still not recovered from it. I'm not prepared to leave my pets behind because I don't know what happened to my cat. Maybe she did jump out of the window, she missed the balcony and she disappeared. To reappear nearly four weeks later, half dead. And she's still not herself. She's still cowering under things and hiding. And that guy upstairs, his kids make an awful load of noise. And it sounds like a loud clap of thunder on the bedroom ceiling. And my cats get frightened. It's natural, they get frightened. They hide under the furniture, they hide under the bed. Perhaps she thought that it was quieter outside the window and she jumped out of it. I am not the villain. I'm trying to help. And I've never been nasty. I offered my help and support. Right? And it got thrown in my face. I, I can't do anything. If it's going to keep going on and on and on and on until maybe my cats do disappear and never come back because the noise upstairs is unbearable i can't what can i do it's like you are you the police yesterday right can you check my mother is okay she could have been left on the floor for nearly five hours they can't they couldn't give a fuck no one gives a fuck they do not give a fuck Telling me to, to go and get the bus. Go and get the bus. I, I can't take my cat on the bus. Do you know he was in upstairs yesterday all day? The guy upstairs was in all day yesterday, the day that I rang the police. I wasn't prepared to leave my flat unattended while I went up to my mother's. Here we've got an Aunt Bessie's pudding, strawberry, in some custard. Very nice it is too. 
Lovely. The thing is, people, the thing is, people, I care. I do care. And I will continue to care. And I will continue to talk about what's happened to me to help other people. The police in this country do not care. They, 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 what I've seen, they don't care. The, the police that have come out to me or done things I've requested, they don't care. They don't give a fuck. They're like Mickey Mouse dressed in a police uniform. They could be for all I know. They don't do their job properly. None of them do. My mum could have been on the fucking floor for four and a half hours. Her phone was broken. At least I care. I've been left alone for hours. No one's given a shit about me. But I care, see. I care. Even though I argue and, and someone upsets me, I care. I care. It doesn't stop me caring. You know, I'm just left. I'm fucking left. I'm laughed at and I'm left like it. And my mother should have been grateful for all the tension she's getting. She's had the police round there. She's having her bathroom fixed and done out. And Sue goes in there every day to check she's okay. And why my mum couldn't say to Sue... Um, can I borrow your mobile phone and talk to my daughter, please? I haven't got a clue. Leaving me worrying for, for 24 hours. So, guys, it's this afternoon. And who knows what this weekend brings. It's my birthday next week. And a lot of fun that's going to be by myself. <laughs> but I will have fun. I mean, so all my money's been taken off me. It's my birthday next week. And I don't get any money till after my birthday. I don't get any money till after my birthday. But I told you I bought some balloons. And I shall have fun. But it's all been planned. All my money's been taken off me before my birthday. And now my mum's phone's bust. Yeah, well, I, it, you know, a birthday's a birthday. It's, you know, it's going to happen whether you want it to happen or not, right? You can't stop it. But this is all planned in advance to make my birthday miserable. Well, it's just like any other day to me, especially when I get older. But I have not had any stupid messages since this morning. I haven't. I'll probably get picked on this evening. Oh, he was in, in, in upstairs all day yesterday and I was getting really nasty, horrible messages. He's out. And I have not had one me message. The last message was when he, before he went out this morning. There was absolutely no messages now. There's been nothing. So he was still in at 8.55. And I've not had anything since he left about half past 11 this morning. I'm not saying it's anything to do with him, maybe it's a coincidence, but I've had no messages since he's been out. Um, I'm going to eat my pudding. I've had a walk with Max. There's been no post. And the worrying thing is, is that I need that torch. I've had no post. So my torch hasn't come. And it gets dark early, but I've got that panic alarm with the small torch on it, so I'm fine. And the other torch needs a D battery or a C battery. They're a, bu they're a bugger to get hold of. So I've had no post today either. Nothing. So 
So this has all been planned to give me a shitty birthday next week, but it won't be a shitty birthday because I'll make it. I'll make it an okay birthday, guys. When life kicks you in the teeth, smile. See you later.